Well, hello and welcome to Little Workroom Crafts. It's Friday the 29th of April 2022. I'm on my way to go and pick up Viv and I'm yeah, about five minutes early. So I thought I'm going to pop down here and yeah, this actually is the estate and the park that I grew up. Well, I lived here, I think when I was, I moved up here when I was three from the old part of town and, um, and Viv lives down on the, the other estate down the road but this I just was passing and I thought this is the actual park that my brother and my sister and I used to come we were allowed to walk down here and this little wall <laughs> but I tell you what it's a damn sight more posher than what we had because we had swings here for starters the baby swings and then we had a roundabout a slide um seesaw and the big swings and that's all we had if I remember rightly. So, bruv, I know you're watching. I think, sis, I know you watch. Let me know if I've missed anything out. <laughs> but, um, yeah, my gosh, it has a, yeah. This used to be the cut through. <laughs> There's a bit of a story about this cut through. <laughs> Let me show you. Right, okay. So, that there is now where the park is. That's where we had our swings and stuff. But I said here, at the front here, was where we had um, the baby swing. Because I don't know why they put them so far away then, but you know, it was the 70s and 80s, things were different then. And this cut through, you see the path, which has been made, goes over to the other side of the of another estate. And I've got to say this, one night, my sister and I, we were only teen, well, we were teenagers. I must have been between 18 and 19. And Rebecca, oh, Rebecca, um, Rhonda, my sister, must have been about the same age because we, we were quite close together. So if she was 18, I'd have been 19. And we used to go out on a Friday Friday night, used to walk down into the old part of town because then you used to go around the pubs because they had discos. Discos, do you remember that word? Discos. Had discos in them, especially the free cups. That was our favourite one. And we were walking down... <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh um what we used to do was is because there was the two of us and we used to meet friends down there one could drink and one stayed sober so the sober one looked after the drunk one and uh, well say drunk you never used to get drunk did you then you just had a couple of drinks anyway um, <laughs> we were walking down here that was my turn to have my couple of drinks and uh, Rhonda's turn to actually uh you know be, be the sensible one if there's a sensible one between us then anyway and all of a sudden what well, kind of disappeared and I fell down the hall <laughs> oh my gosh and then one week I tripped up a pavement and I hadn't even got there <laughs> so I was very clumsy then <laughs> but we had such a fit of the giggles I remember because they must have been doing work or something about there is where it happened and <laughs> it tripped Literally just went boom. <laughs> She'd carried on walking and didn't realise I'd gone. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, that's when we used to have fun. And there was no, you know, I used to be a port and lemon drinker and she had a pint. Chalk and cheese, chalk and cheese. But yeah, I'd only have a couple of pint, uh, port and lemons. And then we'd have a disco, dance at the disco and then come home. Because they used to shut at 11 then, didn't they? Except for bank holiday weekends. But yeah, and we used to walk home. <laughs> Oh my gosh, those were the days, eh? If only the youngsters these days knew what fun we did have, eh? Yeah. But there you are, I just couldn't resist it. But that's the park anyway, before I started babbling on about, <laughs> about that. But yeah, that was that's where we used to come down when we were really little and play on the park. Anyway, what's the time? I better go and get Viv. <laughs> see you later. Well, hello. And as you can see, I'm up in the womb. <laughs> I'm home. Oh my gosh. Viv and I had the most fantastic morning. We will definitely be going back there again. Uh, next time though, I'll be getting photographs of the inside because I reckon they'll be fine with that. And um, yeah, it was just so nice. We had lovely cake. Um, I had carrot cake and a cup of tea. And uh, Viv had a coffee cake and a coffee. And then at lunchtime, we both had the most 
gorgeous oh my gosh cheese scone absolutely lovely and uh, also we found out as well today that it is actually well i knew it was but it's actually a museum of our town so um we are going to pay for members the next time we go down so we can go down whenever we like to go and have a look around and stuff and all the talks and that that goes on so that'll get us out in the evenings as well which will be really really nice and uh, yeah what more can i say we have had the most loveliest time I know, I know. Next time, though, I think we'll definitely have to take our knitting so we can do... I took mine. Um, let me sit down. Hold on. Ugh. I took mine, but we were just, you know, I wanted to show her something anyway. But, um, yeah, just so we can, you know, just suss the place out. But, oh, it was just so nice. We absolutely loved it. We brought some little bits. We obviously um, did uh, bought raffle tickets to go towards the the charity. And I still can't remember... Do you know, my mind gets terrible. It really does. That's these, these fogs, they call them. <laughs> no, I'll put, the, I'll put the word there. That'd be easy, wouldn't it? On what they were actually raising money for. Good, good thing, actually, for the town. And, uh, yeah, so, wow. So, and we, I got, I've left them downstairs. We've got a nice pen, a couple of pens each for when we're marking off our knitting and our crochet and stuff. And yeah, it was just such a lovely, lovely morning. Really, really enjoyed it. I got some photographs of the outside. And then we went for a little drive around the old part of the town. So I could show Viv, you know, little spots and everything like that. And yeah, absolutely brilliant. I'm so excited. Then when I got home, I had the most beautiful surprise from i'm not going to show you today i'll show you on monday from the lovely ruth so you know who you are ruth um who sent me some yarn so as a, as a lovely um uh, belated birthday present so thank you so much and yes we are both purple lovers <laughs> we should make that word should we purple lovers because there's a lot of us out there <laughs> and uh but yeah so it could be hashtag purple lovers <laughs> Oh my gosh, as you can see, I'm a bit hyper. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, oh, absolutely lovely. I'm feeling a bit tired now because, you know, things like this do tie me out, unfortunately. <laughs> but hey-ho, it's well worth it. And we definitely are going to be going back, definitely. So yeah, so much fun. So this morning, though, before I went, I was saying to Viv, hang on, sorry about the hand. I don't know how I can, oh, there you go. Um, That's better. <laughs> My arm was aching. Um, I got up, obviously, at just after six, like I normally do. Then I had my breakfast. And then I um, was making row legs at half past seven this morning. <laughs> then I had my shower and did my hair and everything. And I've got my, look, my new Popsy on, which is called um, Molly Mole, I think she is. Um, which is a lovely lady um, gifted me some birthday money. So I put it towards a Popsy which was so nice <laughs> and um yeah so i've been wearing that today i love these dresses they're so comfortable and then before i went out i was doing my cross stitch so i had a really really eventful morning before i went out at quarter to ten this morning <laughs> so yeah so i'm gonna get changed and i'm gonna do some spinning tomorrow because I, I made me row legs today and yeah, I am just so excited. So hopefully I'll be able to get some footage of spinning, but I will pop that on to Monday's video. But anyway, Ruth, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You're going to get a thank you again on Monday. <laughs> um, but thank you so much for the yarn. Oh my gosh, thank you. And I will show it all on Monday. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, nice. So um, yeah, all excited. So yeah, I'm going to get changed and then I'm going to go downstairs. Oh, yes, I'm just so excited. <laughs> Righty ho, then. I think my little chap has gone and hid underneath that chair over there, which he knows he's not allowed in this room. But hey ho, or he might have gone out again. So he's definitely back to his old self. Yeah, we've noticed that. <laughs> oh dear. He's got to go up to the vets next week. I still can't remember if it's next Tuesday or Wednesday. It's written on the calendar um, for his post op. Um, examination but he's fine he's absolutely fine <laughs> yeah you can tell that he's running around like a right good one <laughs> anyway I am gonna go so this is just a little extra for today because I say we have had the most loveliest time so I will see you all as always on Monday so please take care stay safe and as always happy crafting bye